My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as the Jarl. No, no, such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Uh-huh. Wish only to graduate and enroll with the Legion. So my exciting! Oh, I'd get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Are you my gallant? Oh, I'd get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Besides, it's scary in there. It's too bad okay. they executed Rogvia before we got here. Anyway. Do you have the Jarl is not to be disturbed with common affairs at court. Do you direct those concerns to absolutely not ghost or not? There I'll make an exception for you. But do not bring anything out when you leave. Too many dark deeds transpired in this hall. through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself. But dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sporting. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. Harumph! Well, then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. How rude! Can't be bothered to host free! Ooh, ooh, what kind of message? A song! Well, spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? Where are you now? 
By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim. The toy maker's son, huh? What? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter! Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave? Because that's crazy! You do realize who you're dealing with here. <sighs> oh, pardon me. What are you saying, something? I do apologize. It's just that I find myself suddenly and irrevocably BORED! I mean, really. Here you stand, before Shea Gorath himself, Daedric Prince of Madness. And all you deem fit to do is deliver a message? How sad. Now that's the real... So, here's what's a... On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Care to take a look around? This is... Welcome to the deceptive... Now, I know what you're think. The Wub Attack! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his branch. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. This is your last mistake. Here we go. Wonderfully done. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself, and continue hating everyone else. You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Something to grow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Oh, go! 
Good choice! Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. Oh. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius' mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver? Well, free. I never get that part right. One there. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered. Oh, I thought you'd never figure it out. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sort of. And we're that much closer to home. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. Hmm. Ah, but so I have been known to change my mind. So. Pelagius Septum the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now oh, so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now, where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, my little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Waba Jack. As a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart! Ha <laughs> ha! Ta-ta!